Hi, we are a traveling family. We are going on a cruise to take a breather from a few unfortunate events we went through. We thought to do this video a little bit different. Since we love to cruise, we want to show you how we spent our time and why we like to cruise. Okay. We, bless you, we love the cruise, okay? Whenever we hear we don't love the cruise, we don't understand why. So we wanted to showcase why we like the cruise and why we like to come all the time. Pretty much this is, especially after the pandemic and coming back, there's a lots of reasons why we missed it and why we love cruising. So hit it. I'm going to show you why we like the cruise. The casino. The casino is one of my favorite things to do because I just love donating money. <laughs> Find a comfortable spot to watch the trip I don't know why I did the trivia. No, very well, I suck at trivia, but I feel like you gotta at least try one because why not? But I go, I play, I lose miserably, then I know that's enough for me. It's just not for me. But other than that, hope you found what you like. But I like to try this one. Make sure to do some of the other games that they have out there because guess what? You may suck at it because I surely did, but you may be lucky to have a team member that's gonna carry your dead weight. And guess what? Help you get one of these! So, that's why we like it. <laughs> and who doesn't like to putt putt? They, they may not have the ball right now, but man, I'm better, I'm better than Dre at this one. I give Dre a run for his money. One thing that I like about the cruise is that you're still able to work out while you're on a ship. How cool is that? If you want to, you can get up in the morning and you can come outside and walk around this track and you can get you a little body weight workout in too. I'm going to demonstrate. You get on the machine and you just pull it down. Wonderful. Can't get no better than that. We like this one because guess what? Everybody gets to enjoy what they want to do. Everybody gets to have their own spot, even Mom B. doesn't like burritos but I really want the Hevos Ranchero and where else to get it than the blue is it blue iguana yeah the blue iguana it's so good I like the variety it's so so fresh who can complain about fresh I'm getting the Arepa Hevos Rancheros just one thank you thank you The Red Frog Pub. Look at this. We're by ourselves. Like, look at that. Well, it is around like 12. One of the favorite games, though, is Connect Four. This is like our go to game where it's hardcore competition right here. I will tell you this. Last time we went on the cruise, we did not know about this until when we were about to leave. And we never really played shuffleboard before. And I'm not going to lie. This thing. Really fun. I still don't know how to play it that well. I guess the comp competitive side out of it just wants to get one. Yeah! <laughs> but love this. All right. Foosball. Well, I'm not that good at it. Uh, uh, but at least you have options. And then this is something I remember doing when I was really younger, but we haven't done it in a long time. It's the dartboard. I feel like I'm a. I don't know how I'm going to do on that one. I feel like a lot of people neglect or don't realize it because we didn't realize it. Oh, we didn't realize it also, but Red Frog Pub, you have to come for the games. And the music is good when you come out in the evening. Okay? Your competitiveness will come out. Come and enjoy.
favorite things on the ship is the arcade. Because, well, you can go in there and play games. Who doesn't like to play games? Like three dollars a game. You will go broke in here if you're not paying attention to what's going on. Because it can get so much fun. And you're like, oh my god, I got no more money. One of my favorite games to play while I'm on the cruise is the Mario Kart DS. All racing games anyway. I love to play all racing games. So I got to be careful. <laughs> Thing I love about cruising is that you're able to get your workout as you cruise. Can't get no better than that considering I like to work out when I feel like it nowadays. And the views, you get the little beautiful views as you work out. Beautiful. You know the workout is? Picking the baby up. Another thing is the buffet section, especially breakfast. Breakfast is just my favorite really? food to eat. And uh, they have a wide variety of foods you can eat and indulge in. So, we was under the assumption that we were going to be able to get off the ship today. But apparently not, because the baby is not vaccinated, even though she's not allowed to be vaccinated yet because she's underage. So we stuck on the ship. But the crazy part about it, though, is if you unvaccinate it, and if you, and if you book an excursion with them, you are allowed to get off the ship. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. But those are the rules, and you just, I guess we just have to follow the rules. So tomorrow we'll be we'll be making it in. Uh, we'll be in uh, Grand Turks. Yes, Grand Turks. Turks. Turks and Caicos. Yes, and those same rules apply over there. So tomorrow we're just gonna have to go ahead and book the cheapest excursion, like the lady was telling us, and we'll do the excursion with them. And then, go to the beach. and then we'll just go to the beach from there. But for today, we just, we stuck on a boat, which is which is fine, you know. But because we haven't even had a chance to do the cruise, now yeah, it's back. yeah, exactly. So, so it, it, it's, it's 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 it worked out. For we could us. try to find the positive. In yeah, this this is no big deal, you know. So we're just gonna kick back, chill on the beach. I mean, excuse me, the boat today, chill in the water and and enjoy ourselves right here on the boat. No big deal. I mean, I I just wish. As much as they say it was on the instructions, they should have specified it very much so with the ages. Because we, we read it and we saw unvaccinated, vaccinated. We're like, we're vaccinated, we're good. We thought the baby had an exemption. Because she's underage. She's underage from yeah. any of those things. Yeah. So I wish they would have specified that a little bit more. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, and just if you're wondering where the baby is, that's where the jacuzzi. She's right there. Sleep. Away from the sun, she's knocked out of sleep. Mm -hmm. yes. So we get to enjoy ourselves. Yes. And it works out perfectly. Yes, it does. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, with all of this old COVID stuff, I'm pretty sure it's actually a lot of people on, on the boat right now, on there with their kids and everything that, you know, obviously <laughs> wasn't able to get off the boat. Everybody found out at the but, same uh, time. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, everybody is just kind of a little bit frustrated with all this COVID stuff. and. And hopefully, you know, sometime soon, all this stuff will be over with because everybody's about tired of it. But, you know, we at, at, at least we're able to kind of somewhat, you know, live life a little bit normal now. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy ourselves. And we'll see y'all later. Bye. Yeah, the theater. We love the theater because we love seeing different people's talent. 
And who doesn't like a, a show? We love content. Every show, every single night. Oh, he do? Mom, be tied to the donkey. Hey, don't eat the baby now. <laughs> you don't want to touch it? He said, give me some more. They be giving us good. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm scared. <laughs> He's trying to see the baby. Look at what we saw. Mommy, you see that donkey? We have fun on the cruise. Now, time for us to move on. See you on the next video on where we're heading to next.